Hello, welcome to the live. So today is an unboxing of New Suns, the uh, June box. I've done an unboxing um, of New Suns before, so if you haven't seen my other ones, um, New Suns box is a book subscription box and their mission is to amplify diverse voices and they also um, have small businesses as like part of the products when, within their boxes, whether it's like pins or like decals and stickers or teas and all different types of products, which I think is really cool, especially, um, you know, now during still the pandemic. Um, so it's still important to support small businesses. So I'm going to go through and unbox mine. Um, there were six book choices, I believe. So mine, of course, is only one option. Um, and the way it works is just like, as you probably could guess, is you get to choose the book that you want. And then I think they also had opened it up to where you, if you wanted to get like an additional one, um, at one point you could. And I think they are switching to a quarterly, um, it's now a quarterly book box. Oh my goodness, I need sharper scissors. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I should probably invest in a box cutter. Let's see. Okay. So, ooh. So this is what it looks like when I open it. Love the rainbow already. Soft punk. Um, okay, so pretty much what happens is you open it up and they have all the goodies, which I'll go through and show you, and then the book I chose. So, um, so this one is for Pride Month. It says, we strove to dig deeper into our mission with this box. We asked ourselves who is missing from this conversation because as we all know, there's always someone who hasn't yet said their piece. To that end, our books for June each explore what we believe are oft overlooked queer subjectivities from lesbians under dictatorship in Paraguay to the gay son of Vietnamese immigrants. We hope that whatever awaits you in these pages opens your eyes to new lives and perhaps something more within yourself. So they always have like a little description. Um, so that's really cool. Um, so I'll go through the stuff and I'll read it. Let's see. Included are an iron on patch. Oh, that's cool. Iron on patch by Bianca's design. That is really neat. Um, I'll, I'll put the tags for everyone's, uh, all the, uh, small businesses, um, Instagram, like social media, I'll tag it to in the uh, description. So there's the patch and there's also a pocket notebook by soft punk bodies have no gender. That's really cool. So there's that. And there's like little pages, um, And, oh, they also have a sticker. The person um, created the notebook. That's cool. Soft punk, huh? And it's a baseball bat. Um, and a card. Oh, that's the rainbow thing that I saw at first when I opened it. That is a cool card. And it's very like rubber bandy kind of feeling. That's really neat. Oh my gosh. And there's like old school, like, <laughs> I love that. That is so cool. Um, and okay and so this is the patch the card for the person that created the patch that's a cool card too i like how it's like paint bianca's design queens new york we're soft punk i will look it up okay um so those are the products and then the book that i chose was this yay Non-Binary non Lives, an Anthology of Intersecting Identities. Um, so, 
This powerful collection of essays represents the breadth of non-binary lives, leading non-binary people share their stories of intersecting lives, how it feels to be non-binary and neurodiverse. That's really cool. The challenges of being a non-binary pregnant person, what it means to be non-binary within the queer, the Quaker community, and the joy of reaching gender euphoria. This thought-provoking anthology shows that there is no right or wrong way to be non-binary. So it looks like it's a, wait, are those the authors? Huh. So it looks like some of the people, Joss Twist works as a psychologist supporting gender diverse youth in London. Ben Vincent is an academic sociologist, author of Transgender Health. Uh, Meg John Barker is an internationally recognized and hugely influential writer and the author of How to Understand Your Gender and Life Isn't Binary and Kat Gupta is an academic researcher, academic and researcher living in the UK. So, and there's other, it looks like those individuals wrote, but also there's like a bunch of other, so there's like different categories, cultural context, communities, the life course, bodies, health and well-being. This is really neat. So I'm like really, oh, that's cool. I'm like really excited um, about this. So, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I like all the little drawings. What does it say? In some places I can't be myself. With friends, I feel more free. But no matter where I am, I am still non-binary. That's what it says. Does each job, wait, does each section have like a drawing? see. Maybe not. Oh wait, yeah. Okay, so each section has like a little comic drawing. That's cool. <clears throat> In some places I feel too non-binary. In other places I don't feel non-binary enough. So it looks like they're at like a pride, like a pride event. But I can make my own community that accepts me just as I am. That is really cool. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to read this. So <clears throat> so this is the um, one of the book choices. I'll read you the other ones actually so I have it up on my computer. Wait, I have room here. Um, do I? I thought I had it up on my computer. Um, so there were other choices. I'll tag their Instagram because I know um, each month they'll like different days, they'll put like one of the book selections with like a little um, link or a little like blurb description. Um, I was choosing between this and another one that's been on my TBR for a while. Um, I see part of the description here. Let's see if I can get my keyboard so I can actually type. It's called The Magic, I think The Magic Fish. Here by um, I believe it's a Vietnamese author. Choo, choo, choo. The magic fish. No, is that the name? Yeah, the magic fish, a graphic novel by Trung Li Win. Um, so this was one of them, and. I'm going to read it. Another interesting thing about the nuisance as well, which is kind of cool, is sometimes I like find other books that I'm going to be like adding to my TBR. Um, hello. Come on. Okay. So this is one of the other book choices. Sorry for the glare. Uh, don't shop Amazon, by the way. This is just kind of what came up. Came up. Um, the Magic Fish. Um, so that's a graphic novel. I did, someone um, I know has it. And so I did check out the pages and it looks really, really cool. Um, so I'll be reading that one. But that was one of the other selections as well as a book that I do have that is really good. This was also one of the selections. And this, oh my gosh, I, I read this 
on Day of the Dead, um, which is really cool. Highly recommend this as well. Uh, it's a YA. Um, and two, I want to listen to the audiobook because um, they chose a a trans actor to voice for the audiobook. So, fun fact, definitely recommend Cemetery Boys. Um, this was really cool and I got through it, I think, within a few days because it was so good. And it's about like Day of the Dead and everything and there's um, romance and falling in love with a ghost. Oh, it's interesting. Um, but yeah, so this and then there were a few others. I can't see the full picture of my email, but there were other, um, there were three other books and either way, definitely check out New Sons. They are great and Ren and Gina who are in charge are um, just wonderful humans. So tag everything below in the description um, so that you can check them out as well as the um, the small businesses. And yeah, so hopefully this was fun and enjoyable. Haven't done an unboxing in a little while. It's been a little while. Um, the next one, the next live will be BIPOC mental health books, which is, um, I'm trying, I'm trying not to like make it like super, super long recommendation. Um, because I mean, that's essentially this podcast and the entire bookshelves behind me. So I'm trying not to turn this into like a, a bookshelf tour. Um, but I do have books in mind. So the next live will be, uh, BIPOC mental health because it is, um, BIPOC mental health month. So I'm, I got actually a pretty diverse genre, like, uh, adults memoir, but I also have included middle grade and children's that, um, are about BIPOC mental health or BIPOC authors. So definitely check back for that. That'll be the last week of this month. And then also the reading wrap up, which I did better this month. Last month I had two books because I was so busy and I took a week vacation. Um, so I definitely have been reading more <clears throat> already. You could get a preview up here, right there. There's four books already that I've completed reading um, this month and I'm reading like five others at the same time right now because that is what I do to myself. Um, so yeah, definitely check back for the lives and definitely check out New Sons and, um, and also these small businesses that I'll put in the description, okay? So have a good rest of the week and thanks for watching.